everybody this is Alessandra welcome to my home welcome to my kitchen we are making pizza tonight homemade there's nothing like homemade pizza simple recipe uh, this is my go-to recipe for any kind of um, pizza pizza di scarole calzoni anytime I need a pizza dough this is my go-to recipe and I'm gonna be using it over again over and over again because I love it very simple I have four cups of uh, bread flour I'm going to be using two teaspoons of sea salt, three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, a teaspoon of sugar, and a teaspoon of uh, dry yeast, dry active yeast. So first thing I'm going to do is, here's the flour, which for the four cups, I'm gonna mix in the salt and move that out of the way immediately. And then right here, I have a cup and a third of lukewarm water. It's fairly warm. You don't want it hot, otherwise it's gonna burn the yeast and then you gotta start over. So I'm going to add the sugar that feeds the yeast and the yeast. And the reason why I do that is because I need to proof and make sure that the yeast is alive and active in order to uh, have the um, pizza dough rise. So I'm just gonna add it in and take a look. I'm just gonna give it a stir. And what, what happens is that the, uh, the sugar is going to feed the yeast. If the yeast is alive and active, just like I am right now, alive and active, it's going to start foaming up. You see the foam? So that means your yeast is good and you're ready to go. The stand-up mixer with the hook attachment, I'm going to add the flour that's got, that has the salt in it already. Okay. Put it on and have it just mix. Slowly start adding your water yeast mixture. Okay, that's all in. Make sure I get every little bit. Now I'm going to also add the oil. With the help of a spatula, move the flour from the side towards the center. You can even shut off the mixer as you do that. And do this a couple times so it picks everything up. Those coming together beautifully and it needs to work like this at least five, six, seven minutes. You could also do this by hand and it's the same thing, it needs to be worked. Okay, the dough is so, look at that. Look how soft it bounces back. So in a large bowl, I'm just gonna Add a little bit of the extra virgin olive oil. Just spread it all around, okay? Okay, it's perfect. Okay, let's get it in. Cover it, uh, let it rise, draft-free place. If people that watch me, they know, don't put it in the oven, somebody could go put the oven on. I, I like the microwave. A lot of questions, can this be frozen? Absolutely. Uh, actually, I usually like to make the pizza dough the day before I'm making pizzas. The slow leavening in the refrigerator makes an amazing pizza dough. So if you have time, do that. You know, let it rise, put it in the fridge, leave it overnight, and tomorrow we'll, you can make the pizzas. Anyway, see you a little in a little bit when it's double in size. Let's get the... Uh, the pizza uh, pizza sauce ready, okay. Use the peeled tomato, just mash it with your hands. But I found these to work the Cheerio crushed tomatoes. Uh, either Cheerio or Pomi, the crushed tomatoes are just perfect because they're not very watery, very thick. Uh, there's only tomatoes in here, so they're really great. So let's get that made. See how nice and chunky it is? It's just perfect for the pizza dough. Don't wash the containers and add any water. You don't want extra water, otherwise the, the dough comes out soft. I'm gonna take a, a garlic clove and just mince it right in. Can you use um, garlic powder? Absolutely, some oregano powder, absolutely. I like to keep it very simple, so the garlic clove chopped in goes in. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of salt. You want it nice and tasty already. Um, extra virgin olive oil, two tablespoons. 
and some fresh basil already in it. I'm just going to bunch it up and cut it very thin. Do this already uh, when you, your dough is rising. So this, all the flavors get well combined and it's going to be a delicious um, sauce on top. I just want to make sure that it has, look at the colors of it. It looks fantastic. I'm just going to taste it. Yeah, the soap is great. So I'm going to set this on the side in the refrigerator till we're ready to use it or even outside. It's okay. And now let's go make, we're making onion mushroom pizza, family favorite, but we need to go ahead and get the water out of the mushrooms. Meet me by the stove. Wash the mushrooms. I have a large saute pan. I'm just going to go ahead and add them in. Sprinkle just a little bit of salt. Not so much. What the salt does, it starts the sweating process immediately. Just a couple minutes in, take a look at that. You could hire the frame so as they sweat, the water evaporates. Or if you don't want to overcook the mushrooms, you could also drain them. Mushrooms are ready. Oven on 425. Let's take a look at the pizza dough. It's bellissima. Okay, we're ready. Ready to roll it out. Sprinkle my work uh, my work surface, and let's get the dough rolled out. Okay, I'm gonna cut in half. Now, first thing I like to do with the dough is hit it with my my the tips of my finger instead of hitting it with the pizza roller first like this too even like this with the two hands i have a rectangular pan so i want a rectangular pizza i'm going to grease the bottom of my tray Get the sauce on. Mozzarella. We're mushroom fans, so the pizza's gonna get mushrooms. Going to Get some thinly sliced onions on one side. That's the husband's side that he likes the onions on. Okay, now una spolverata di parmigiano. Final touch, a drizzle of the extra virgin olive oil. And now it's ready for the oven. And of course, perché sono napoletana, devo fare una bella semplice margherita. Okay, a margherita is a must on a pizza night. Mozzarella. Cheese on top. And I like, I'm going to add the parmigiano. Uh, the basil, when it comes out of the oven, otherwise when it gets cooked, not the same flavor. Let's get this one in the oven too. Let's check on the pizza. Saturday night, pizza night, a nice ice cold beer, and we have a wonderful meal. You must have fresh basil on a margarita. Ecco fatto, the pizzas are done. I have six eyes staring at me. I'm going to wrap it up real quick. Make them uh, delicious. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Hit the bell button. A lot of recipes coming up. Grazie. Uh, be safe. Until next time. Arrivederci. Ciao, ciao.